Hello friends! I am all about sun protection these days and in this video I want to walk you through some of the accessories I'm using to protect myself this summer. Some of them are very old and vintage and some are brand new. Welcome to the Dress Up Mom! If you're already a subscriber, thank you, and I love you. If you haven't subscribed, please do, and tap the bell for notifications. We are full force in summer here in beautiful San Diego, and I love being outside and doing all sorts of stuff in the sun. Now, I grew up here, and back in the 70s and 80s, we didn't know a whole lot about sun protection, honestly. I remember slathering myself with oils and bain de soleil and all this stuff and getting pretty darn burned a couple times every year, but it was just kind of how we did it. I am really happy to see now how there's so much awareness about the sun and its damaging effects. And certainly as I've gotten older, I try to protect myself. I try to use sunscreen, but it's also very important for me to wear hats and use other means to protect myself even more. Because sometimes, honestly, I either forget the sunscreen or I'm in a situation where I don't have it or my skin is super sensitive and I don't like to put a lot of it on. So especially for my face and areas, I like to have extra protection. So what I thought I would do in this video is show you some of the hats and other accessories that I'm using to keep myself protected. Now some of them are vintage and older and I also recently discovered a couple new to me hat brands that are small, they're locally made, made by hand and just beautiful and I invested in a couple new hats this year that I think are going to take me through many decades. I also want to talk to you about a couple parasols that I'm using and some of the other accessories that are keeping me nice and protected and having fun in the sun here in San Diego this summer. On a recent thrifting trip with my niece Katie we stumbled onto this men's consignment store called Les Chauvinists. Now I like going into men's consignment shops, particularly for all the unisex pieces that are in here that I can sometimes wear, and hats are my favorite. This place had a great selection of new and vintage hats. I do like that. This one, right? This mm -hmm. one is better. Yeah, this is kind of what I was looking for. Yeah, I like it. And it's a good price, let's look. It is, like we were talking about, it's made in Italy. Here's another thing mm -hmm. in my hand. Ooh, look at that one too. And then it's, it was that price. Where are we? Ah, it's like, it's just 25. Mm -hmm. This one. If you put the elastic on the back, they're from 150, 60 to $300. 150, it's a real Panama hat. And I love it because this one is already gently, gently used, which I love. And we were looking, the new ones are like a couple hundred dollars. I think I'm gonna wear this like all summer long. It feels so good on. Yeah, it's good. I it's love good. it. Yay, two hats. So this is also a horse hair. What did you say this was made out of horse hair? Like horse tail. Horse tail braided, braided, hand. braided, braided. by it's, hand. It's, it's, it's amazing piece. that you can take off of here. So I could use this on other hats. And these by themselves um, sell for 15 and the whole hat is 30 something. 25. Yeah, 25. Oh, they sell for 25. Look. Ah, ha, ha. Love a good deal. You're All right. Five dollars for the hat. I'm paying five dollars for the hat. I, can <laughs> I do love wearing this Panama hat. It has just the right amount of coverage, and the shape of it is different than anything I have. And that braided piece is so cool. I've kept it on this hat, but I love that I can actually put it on another one too. It is in perfect shape for being gently used, and I got it for a steal at $30 for both pieces. This is the Italian boater hat that I got there, and when I got it home, I decided to take the band off. I didn't really like the band or the elastic that it had on it, and I had this cool black scarf that I wasn't really using for anything. I thought it might be nice to use that as the top part and then also create something so where I could tie it on the bottom. I thought that might make it look kind of fun. So I decided to do that and play around with it. It wasn't something I could do myself. I took it to Donna's tailor shop, my go-to place. For $10, she did the whole thing for me. I love the way this new band looks 
and I really like the tie. I think it's kind of fun, and it definitely does feel a little bit more like a traditional Italian boater hat to me. I could almost see like a gondolier wearing this, so I'm having fun with it. Another stylish way I like to protect myself from the sun is with my Lily Lark parasols. This is the smaller one that I got for Christmas a couple years ago. I've taken it on vacation. I just love it, and I feel like a queen every time I'm using this. I recently got the bigger size, which is this one here, and this I also love. It's perfect for the beach. I go walking down the beach all the time with my husband, and this bigger one just is a little bit nicer for that. It provides more coverage. I get tons of compliments on it, and you can also use it if you want to just sit on the beach for a while. Both of them come in these really cool carrying cases, so they're very easy to transport and to pack. And then here I'm wearing this really fun straw hat that my daughter gifted me. She bought this in London when we were there on vacation several years ago. Wasn't using it, thought I would like it, and I do. I love this sort of small fedora style. This is a super special hat for me. It used to be my grandfather's straw hat that he would wear in the garden when he would garden. This is probably like a 30-year-old hat. It still sort of smells like him, and it's pretty battered up, but I like to take this when I'm just going surfing, and I want to have a hat that will stay on. I don't really need to care what happens to it, and it also shows that these straw hats, they can get really beat up, but they last a long time. I hope to keep wearing this one forever. I recently learned about the brand Janessa Leone, and I've been following them on Instagram, and boy, oh boy, are these hats beautiful, and I love their Instagram page. This one I just fell in love with. It is a straw bucket hat. I call it my Audrey hat. I think it's so classy, and you can wear it several different ways, up in the front, down in the back, or up all around, but I kind of like it as a bucket hat, and I just adore wearing this hat. It also packs up really small. It's a packable straw, and I'm going to just take this everywhere with me this summer and pack it away if I travel. I didn't have a black straw hat, so I was glad to find this one, and I really feel like it just freshens up my look with my kimonos and the things that I like to wear, so really happy with this one. I also recently learned about the brand Lack of Color, which is from Australia, and they do a line of affordable straw hats that are so stylish and fun. I spent a lot of time looking on their website, and I wanted a hat that had a really wide brim, something that would be like a nicer version of my grandfather's hat that could become sort of my hat that would be living on for generations, if you will. And this did not disappoint. It has this nice rim in the inside of it that fits nicely to your head. I love the bag that it came with, and I do love all these fun pieces that these small brands will put in that customize and give you information. I just love these extra touches. And this hat is so cool, and it feels so good on, and I think it's just gonna last forever. It is handmade and so lovely. And then I wanna show you one last Thing, which is my top tote. This one wonderful little creation by Lindsay Albanese, one of my very favorite YouTubers. It's a nice leather with this really cool piece of hardware here, and it has these two magnets in between the leather. Now look what I can do with this. So let's say I need to take my hat off and I'm gonna use my parasol. I just nicely go like this. And there it is. My hat is now taken care of. The design of it also makes it so that your hats don't get messed up in any way, the way that magnet is. It really is the best thing that ever happened to hats and so handy for traveling. Well, that is it for now. I would love to know some of your favorite brands and the ways that you stay protected in the summer from the sun. Leave that in the comments below. I love reading those. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, have fun and dress it up a little.